Hi, everybody. It's Lisa, and it's time for another Verbling class. It's 1 p.m. Pacific time, and I think Jeff is just finishing up his Verbling class, so I am going to um, do a little talking here while we wait for people to join the class. I'm going to explain how to join the class because we ha still have new Verbling uh, people every day, new people finding out about Verbling and checking out the uh, site and the English classes in particular. So it looks like we're going to be filling up here soon. So um, if you are watching and you're considering joining, I would click on that green Join Class button now before it's too late. Um, we can only have uh, nine people in the Google Hangout, so we're a little bit limited that way. So um, yes, looks like we might be full. If you see the Join Class button, you can click it. Otherwise, you probably are seeing it say, uh, this class is full. Uh, what can happen, though, is sometimes people have to leave the class early or they lose their internet connection. And if that happens, then you have a chance to join at that time because the Join Class button will appear again, and you can click on it and come in. If you want to just watch, then you'll be able to watch. All of the Verbling classes are streaming live, and they are also recorded, so people can come back later and watch them. Um, if you're particularly interested in a certain topic that a teacher um, went over, whether it's reading or poetry or singing or writing or reading, um, there's all different types of classes being offered. Um, mostly we try to offer a class every hour here on Verbling. So if you miss this one and you're not able to get in, you can try the next hour, which I'm going to be teaching. And then after that, there will be different teachers on through uh, the rest of the day. OK, so I'm going to start the class now. This class is going to be on a sports vocabulary. And I made a little Google Doc that has um, some reading that we'll do. And it, within the reading is the vocabulary. So sometimes um, one way to learn vocabulary is to go over a big list of words. I usually don't like to do it that way. It's too much uh, um, get thrown at you at one time. It's better to learn the vocabulary within a context, within a story or an article, something like that, within a conversation. So we have a few uh, little stories here that we can read. And in the stories are those vocabulary words that pertain to, I chose three different sports today. Of course, there's many different sports we could uh, have included or that we could talk about. Um, but today it's going to be soccer, American football, and tennis. Those are some pretty popular sports um, in America and also in other parts of the world, especially soccer. Um, so yeah, so we'll get started. I am going to introduce myself, and then I will ask you, the students who are here in the Google chat hangout uh, area to introduce yourself and just tell us your name and tell us uh, the country you're in and why don't you also today since we have a sports theme tell us what your favorite sport is whether it's your favorite sport to watch like on TV or if it's your favorite sport to actually play if you play that sport okay so my name is Lisa and I live in Washington State in the Pacific Northwest of the United States and my favorite sport actually is skiing and it's not something I get to do often because of course it's a winter sport and it takes me about three hours to drive to the place where I like to go skiing and so I don't get to go there that often, but I hope to get to go on uh, either this Saturday or next Saturday because I really like being in the mountains and um, it's fun. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to start over here with, is it Andre? Uh, yes. Um, hello, Lisa. Hello, everyone. Uh, Hi there. My name, my name is Andre. Uh, I am from uh, uh, Kiev. Uh, 
of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, I very like uh, um, table tennis and uh, ski skiing uh, because uh, in Kiev very much uh, snow. Okay, great. Uh, do you uh, ski? Have you ever tried snowboarding or just skiing? Just ski because uh, snowboarding very. Uh, t t terrific uh, sports. Yeah. V very <laughs> extreme very sports. Extreme, yes, yes, yeah. very, very extreme sports. <laughs> yeah, I and tried uh, snowboarding one time, but I fell on my butt and on my knees. And I said, forget it. I'll go back to skiing because <laughs> I don't fall. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Fabricio, are you there? Hi. Hi. I'm Fabricio from Argentina. I'm 25 years old and I like playing paddle. Okay. Paddle tennis, like, uh, is it ping pong or which one is it? Paddle is like tennis. The oh, okay. race of the car, and you play there. The difference, the main difference, is that uh -huh. there are walls around you. You know. Oh, oh, okay. There is a, uh -huh. a wall behind you. Um, there is a net. Uh, okay. All right. Great. Do you play that um, one on one, or do you play with a partner, like doubles? You play it with a partner. Okay. Yes, it, it's quite popular. Popular in Spain, for example. Oh, okay. Is it is it called highlight? What's it What's it called in Spanish? Padel. Oh, padel. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Gasan. How are you doing today? Hi. My name. I'm fine. Thank you. And my name. You said my name is Gasan. I'm from Iraq. And my favorite sport is the tennis. And uh, I watch uh, sometimes watch football, real football, not American football. Uh huh. Soccer. And uh, yeah, what I like to do is hiking and biking. Okay. Did you say biking at the end? I didn't. Hear. Yes, bicycles. Okay. Hiking and biking. Okay. Good. Thank you. And um, camber, the camber. Uh, you can hear me? Yeah, turn it up a little bit. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is I'm from Turkey. Uh, okay, you can hear me? It's not very loud. I can't hear you very well. I can hear you a little bit, but it's very soft. It's very low. Actually, I don't know. Did, is your volume is your volume all the way up? I did. Yeah. Sometimes the speaker you have to talk more into the speaker, closer to the where your microphone is. No. I think he needs to, you know, turn off the video. Maybe that's the reason. Mm. Yeah, maybe if you turn off your video and just have the microphone on, it will be um, louder. Okay, well, you, yeah, try that. No, it's very, very low. You can talk louder. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna scream. Yeah, scream. <laughs> yes. I am from Turkey. Uh huh. Uh, I'm I'm working for a bank. It's first time uh, doing this classroom. And we can't. I, okay. Um, we can't really hear you, Camber. So maybe uh, try to. Uh, work with it a little bit and see if you can make it a little bit louder because um, it's it's not working for the rest of us to hear you. I'll come back to you to see if it's uh, worked out. Okay? okay. Landon. Hi Landon, yeah. how are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks. 
Good. Okay, my name is Landy. I'm from Mexico, and I don't really like sports. I like to watch the football, but the NFL. Uh -huh. NFL. NFL, yeah. <clears throat> but I don't really have a favorite team or something. I just like to watch. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. All right, and Marie, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I already forgot the, your questions. Sorry. I'm supposed to say my name and what else, yeah. country? And what, where, yeah, where you're from, and if you like to watch a certain sport or you like to play a certain type of sport. Okay. Uh, my name is Maria. I live in Sweden, and I like downhill skiing, mm. like our teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, nice. <laughs> yeah, I like to watch hockey, ice hockey. Uh huh. Yeah, that kind of sports. Yeah. In in Sweden, uh, do where do you go to ski in Sweden? Oh, uh, we can go to the nor northern part of yeah. Sweden. It's pretty mountainous, and we can also go to like Switzerland or countries where yeah they have like yeah mountains. <laughs> and um, in Sweden, is it popular to cross country ski too? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that too. Yeah. Uh huh. Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Have you been? Have you been yet this year? Uh, no, it hasn't been so much snow yet this year because I live in the southern part, the mm. southernmost part. So we just have a thin layer of snow. <laughs> it's not oh. enough for skiing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Unfortunately. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marley, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. All right. So. Tell us where so, you, where you are. Every I know, but they don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am Marley. I'm from Brazil, uh, and I like to play volleyball and soccer. Mm -hmm. And I like to watch uh, handball and uh, American football. Mm -hmm. But I I like to play soccer and volleyball. Okay, so I have a question because I have my son who's almost uh, 13 years old who loves to play soccer and he thinks that if he goes to Brazil that he's going to get to play soccer all the time like on the beach and in the park. And Is that true? Yeah, is that true? Yeah, okay, I'll yeah. tell him. <laughs> he's, he's studying could... Portuguese right now so he can go to Brazil and play soccer. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah, cool. All right. Mohammed, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Uh, my name is Mohammed. I live in Amman, uh, Jordan. We are speaking about the Middle East. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, my favorite sport is uh, in the actual. I di I dislike it, but uh, I I like to see the car racing. I like this sport, but okay. nothing extra. <laughs> Okay, so you like to watch it? Yeah, I watch it. Okay, great. Yosef, how about you? Yes, hello. Hi. Hi. About me, uh, my favorite sport to watch um, is... Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, my favorite sport to watch is uh, football. Not the American football, soccer. Soccer, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, my favorite team is Barcelona. I don't know if you heard about it. And, yes, uh, I've heard of... about it. <laughs> 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 I, the, uh, about the sport that I, 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 I used to do, or I like it so much, it is the bike or motorcycle uh, racing. Oh, uh -huh. uh, yeah, we used to do it, but uh, frankly, illegal, and I got posted once. So that's it. Okay, great. Um, all right, let's see. I'm going to. Uh, I have to talk about the verbling chat here a little bit because um, I want to make sure that everybody knows how this works. So the people who are in the class already are in the Google Hangouts, and it looks like we have 14 or 15 people watching, uh, which is fine. You're welcome to watch. And then there's people also posting in the Verbling chat. And Junaid, I'm not sure if you are watching or something because it sounds like a, 
I'm not sure if you know that we started the class already. So, anyways, I have this class right now, and then I have another class after this class. It's going to be a writing class. So, um, if you want to participate, you can also be um, typing in the Verbling chat if you're not in the Google Hangout. But if you're in the Google Hangout, you're today you're going to get a chance to do some reading out loud, and that's how we're going to review the different um, vocabulary or terms or terminology that have to do with these uh, specific sports today, just the soccer, the American football, and the um, uh, tennis. I'm trying to see here. Okay, so if you see the join class button, you can click it because I think somebody just dropped out. And Camber, I'm going to ask you, did you get your microphone to work? Is it working, Camber? Yes, you can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. It's still a little bit low, so maybe you can... Yeah. Okay. So, um, all right, Fadi, uh, Fade, or you're, if you're wanting to join the class, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting some, uh, messages in the verb link chat, if you're wanting to join the chat, just go to the Verbling chat, and up above that, you will see the green Join Class button. Junaid, was it not there before? No. Oh, and you just saw it? Yes. <laughs> oh. I am lucky now. Okay, yeah, so now you got it. Okay, and if you see it now, now is a good time to join. Um, I think there might be one more space here. So, if I know some people are wondering how to join. There's a button, it's green, and you just click on it and you should go into the Google Hangout. Okay? I think people got in. Uh, Akhila, you're here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, welcome. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to uh, finish up with Junaid and Akhila, why don't you guys introduce yourself first, um, ladies first. <laughs> yeah, <Akhila. okay. laughs> and uh, if you like a sport, uh, tell us what sport you like, and then Junaid, you'll be next, and then we will start doing the reading and stuff. Akhila? Akhila. Are you going to introduce yourself? Where'd she go? Ah. Sorry, I muted myself, I think. <laughs> Uh, my name is Ahla. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Um, I like swimming, uh, but uh, in my country, the most famous sport is uh, football or soccer, uh, mm -hmm. as you can say it in America. Um, so that's it. But um, I probably I'm wondering um, in the United States, soccer is played by both boys and girls. Is that the same in Saudi Arabia? No, sure it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you know already the too, answer, Lisa. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, used, I played soccer when I was young, it's, and my daughter plays now, so... Yeah. But, um, you know, women here are not uh, so much into, um, we can say, uh, more uh, sports like soccer or uh, mm -hmm. basketball or these things. No. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, we can go. We have our own gym for women, uh, for females only. We you can do all kinds of sports: swimming. Uh, mm -hmm. You can use uh, the uh, electronic machines for sports. You can save it all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, as a, a football team or uh, something like that for women, <laughs> no, we don't have no. that. Okay, well that's nice. You get your own uh, gyms. <laughs> yeah, but uh, actually, I want to tell you that two uh -huh. of the Saudi women here uh, joined uh, the Olympics in London. Uh, oh. They were the first two Saudi girls to join the Olympics, yeah. What sport were they doing? Uh, one of them was for the um, judo, oh. and uh, the other one, uh, uh, she was, I think, for the running. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. remember her name. Like track? Yeah, the tracks. Yeah. Track and field, yeah. Okay. Oh, so okay. it's a good beginning, really. Yeah, yeah. Who knows what will happen next time? <laughs> yeah. Ne in the next four years. Okay. Hi, Junaid. 
Hi Lisa, uh, how are you guys? Uh, my name is Junaid and uh, I'm from Iraq, I live in the United States. My favorite sport is... My favorite sport is ping pong. Okay, ping but pong. I like, yeah, but I like to watch uh, the soccer, just watching. Uh -huh. Especially for Real Madrid and uh, Barcelona. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so some somebody can answer this maybe later, but is Barcelona the favorite team just because Messi or is it just even if he wasn't on the team he would still be everybody that would be everybody's favorite team. Barcelona is a history. Okay. okay, a long history of being a very good team, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right, so I'm going to put on the um uh the screen share the little bit of uh whoops, where is it? The articles that I have here for us to read. It's not working right now. Hmm. Did everybody get it? Junaid always helps me with getting the link there. So I'm trying to put it in the screen share so when people are watching it, they can also read along. But for some reason, it's not happening. Uh, Junaid, are you able to put it in the screen share? Uh, Do you have that? Yes, just me. I think I think also I have a problem. Hmm. Okay, so maybe something's happening with the Google Hangouts today. Okay, so everybody will just have to go themselves to the uh, document and we'll read it. And um, I will usually I I like to just uh, put put your uh, picture up when you're talking so you're not everybody's not always looking at me <laughs> and that works better when the screen share is working but it's not so we'll do it this way okay so we have the first one is about soccer so how about uh, Yosef you want to uh, read that first paragraph there about soccer yeah but uh, just can you pass me for a few minutes yeah sure I'll pass you and then go to somebody else. Akhila, how about, do you want to start? Do you see it? Yeah, okay, but uh, someone is muting me all the time, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> is there okay. a, a big noise from my uh, mic? No. Or maybe he don't uh, doesn't like my voice, maybe. <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I will uh, okay, try go. to read. Yeah. Okay, Sakur. Uh, my kids love to play soccer during the soccer season. They have practice three times per week and games every Saturday for 11 weeks. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That's right. While my sons have played most positions, their favorite positions are defender and forward. They like to score goals. Usually they have at least 14 players on their team. This way they have plenty of subs, substitutes, in case someone gets sick. Okay, good. Next will be uh, Andre. Do you have, do you see it there? Uh, yes, uh, I am uh, uh, sorry. The one where it's the second paragraph in the soccer article there. It's uh, uh, maybe during practice. At uh, practice. At practice, they learn new skills and practice their ball handling, trapping, passing, and hidden skills. They don't uh, particularly like uh, to just uh, to drills. They prefer to scrimmage. Mm -hmm. When uh, they uh, scrimmage, they break uh, their players up into two teams. Usually, one group of players will wear pines so that everybody can tell who is on which team. Mm -hmm. Good. So we're going to just go through this and read it first, and then we'll go back. And I highlighted uh, what I thought was the specific to soccer uh, vocabulary. We'll go back over that after we're done. Uh, Fabricio, you want to read the next paragraph, please? Okay, doing practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, during practice, they often practice specific skills such as taking penalty kicks, corner kicks, and slide tackling. 
they also have to do a lot of conditioning so that they are in shape, since soccer involves a lot of running. Of course, whether you are playing forward, striker, mid, defender, or keeper, goalie, you need to be in good shape and know how to play your position. Okay, good, thank you. And the next is Kassan. Okay, do you hear me well? Yes. I hear, I hear the heater, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is no heater today. Oh. It's not, uh, you know, like, I don't have Take the charger. generator power anyway. Oh, plug off the charger. Uh, I'm reading now. Okay. Oh yeah, there's just some kind of a sound when your mic goes on. I'm, somebody said to take the charger off, but I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, the noise is not from me. I think the website, uh, the web ring, have some problems uh, tonight. So, no, yeah, we're not sh sure if it's the verbling or the Google just... Hangouts. Okay, go ahead. I got the screen share to work now too, so people yeah, can I don't see that. Your voice well. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So I'm reading now. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, okay. The coaches encourage the coaches encourage the players to talk to each other while they are playing, so that everybody knows what is going on. Coaches also make sure that the players know the rules of the game. They explain what it means to be offsides and what types of behaviors will get them yellow or red card. Okay, great, thank you. And uh, Junaid. Yes. The next one that I highlighted. Okay, when I watch them play, I hear them using a specific soccer lingo to tell each other what to do. I hear them tell a player to send it when they want him to kick it up the field. Other times they might say drop, which means to pass it back to, the pl to a player who is, who, who is behind you or one touch when they want the players to just touch the ball once and then pass or shoot. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I wrote uh, here, soccer uses a lot of specific terms. Here is a link to a website that lists even more vocabulary words related to soccer. So, of course, on the internet you can find all kinds of uh, lists of vocabulary words and articles about soccer and soccer websites for fans and, and everything. So some of you probably are already pretty familiar. If you are interested in soccer, you might be familiar with some of these uh, words. But let's go over them just to make sure. Um, here we go. My kids love to play soccer. During the soccer season they have practiced three times per week and games every Saturday for 11 weeks. So what is the season, Junaid? Season, the period uh, for the, all the soccer they play together. Yeah. So One time in the, uh, mm -hmm. each year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, usually in the United States here, uh, for kids, uh, the soccer season is in the fall. And then that's the main soccer season. And then sometimes um, they also have spring soccer, but that's not as popular as the fall season. So every uh, most sports, I would say, especially like team sports like soccer and football, baseball, they have a season. And that's just talking about the time period that those the games are played. Um, the rest of the year, if you're on a professional team, the rest of the year you might be training or making commercials, <laughs> doing other things, uh, stuff like that, traveling, um, playing games just for fun or for spectators, but not for the season. All right, and of course we have to practice sports. So what does it mean uh, to practice Marley? Okay. What does it mean to practice? Practice. Uh, yeah. it, when you do something, um, like every day. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. So they have to practice. Sometimes uh, if you play like high school soccer here in the United States, you practice every day. If you're just playing more for fun, then you might just have a couple of days a week practice. And then, of course, the game. Everybody knows probably what the game is. Uh, just I have a question. Is it yes. noun or verb games? On what games? 
and games every Saturday. The games, it's wo uh, it's verb or noun? Oh, uh, noun. Oh, noun. Uh-huh. So they have games every Saturday. Yeah, if I wanted to use a verb, I could have put there, and they play every, they play a game every Saturday. But games is a, a noun. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And the game, and that's a common word when you're talking about any sport. You, it might be the football game, the soccer game, the um, tennis game, tennis match also. So lots of times when you're talking about sports, the actual time that you're going to play is called the game. Okay? That's why you might hear uh, the phrase, get your head in the game. That means, like, pay attention to what's going on in the game. Okay? And then we have the different positions in soccer. So, uh, Maria, are Special you the location? Yeah, the location where you're playing. So, does anybody want to tell us how many players are on the field in soccer? Eleven. All right. Yes. Yeah. So um, there are eleven players, and there's the goalie. What does the goalie do? Defends the goal. Defends the goal, exactly. <laughs> Tries to keep that little ball from going in the net, right? Mm -hmm. So it's defending the goal, and the goal is where the net is. And um, so that's what the goalie does. The defenders, what do they do? They're in the back. The defenders are in the back, and there are, usually are two or three of them. Um, let's see, Fabrizio, do you know about soccer? Do you know the defenders? Yes. What do they do? Um, they try not to the other players to shoot to the goal. Uh huh. They try to prevent the other yes. team. Yes. Prevent the other team prevent from getting. Prevent the other team not to shoot. Team from shooting. Yep. Yeah. Do uh do defenders ever make goals themselves? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, if they get lucky. <laughs> sometimes they are good at heading. Uh-huh. Yeah, and sometimes they have what we call a big kick. They can kick it really far. They can kick it out of there if they have to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, uh, what about the players that are in the middle? What are they called? Do you guys know what those players are called? Perfect. Which one? Hmm. Mid the wings or the mid well, yeah, the wings are on either side, but the then we have the mid the midfielders. Midfielders. Yeah, midfielders. that's one of the one of the things you can call them, midfielders, and um, sometimes they can go up and back. They might go back if the defenders need help, or they might go up farther ahead if the forwards are taking the ball really uh, close to the other goal. They can be they play they run a lot. Usually the midfielders run uh, the most around. The and then midfielders, the one word or two words? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> midfielders. Probably you'll find it both ways, but to make sure you get it right, you can look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what it's one of those things that you know, midfield. Probably one word. Yeah. Um, the Google Translator, one word. Yes, one word. Midfielders. Yeah. There are these, uh, a lot of times when you're uh, talking about sports, they're kind of words that have been made up over time to describe things. So it's really like a middle fielder, you know, and that would have been two different words, but then it's been shortened to midfielder. So it's about the guys who play in the middle. And then the forwards are the people who play in the front. All right. All right. So in soccer, what how do we make points in soccer, Yosef? Yes. How do you make yeah. points in soccer? What do you do to make a point? To make a point? Uh-huh. Make a goal. Exactly. You make a goal, and that's what you can say make make a goal. Or you can use the word score a goal. So here I said they like to score goals. So usually the forwards or the strikers, they're the people who like to score goals. They uh, they are have a good kick. 
Okay, so who is the person who won? You guys all know this. Who won uh, the best uh, or the most goals? He scored the most goals this year. Who was it? Who scored the most goals this year? I think Messi from Barcelona. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you could say Messi scored the most goals this year. All right. Okay, Fabrizio, I think I have some. Uh, I want to mute you, Junaid, thank you. Okay, so we score goals in um, uh, soccer. That's different. Sometimes um, everybody, do people know basketball? How do you make points in basketball? It's a little bit different. What do you do to make a score in a, basket in a basketball game? To shoot the uh, ball inside the basket. Yeah, you make shots. Shots. Yeah, you take shots. You take shots or you make shots, for example. You can also uh, shoot in soccer. You can also shoot on goal. That's another uh, phrase that you can use to shoot. And and if you're watching a soccer game, especially with a kid's soccer game, <laughs> you'll hear a lot of parents going, shoot, 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 you know, so... They're telling their kid to uh, try shake to their net. <laughs> yeah, kick the uh, kick the ball into the net. Oh, shake their net, yeah. Yeah, into the net. So they're shoot, shoot the goal. It's because a lot of times kids sometimes they don't uh, they just like to dribble the ball around. They keep the ball, and the parents are yelling, "Just shoot the ball!" <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So here we have uh, players and team, and then here's the word. I think you guys know what players are and team, but substitutes. What happens with subs? Why do we need subs? Sometimes they need to change some players if uh, he got injury or something like during the the games. Uh huh. Yeah. So usually when you have a team sport, uh, even though there's eleven players on the field, you need more people on your team. So because sometimes somebody might be sick or somebody gets hurt. Uh, um, or they um, are tired, or they're not playing a very good game, and so you take them out. So that's what you do. You take them out of the game, and you put in a sub. So uh, those are the, that's how you talk about that, if you're putting in the sub. And so usually on professional teams, there might even be a whole other team. Like you might have the main players on your team, and then you might have enough substitutes for the whole the whole team so that in case people are injured or something yes so substitute mean mahas in the uh, chat it means to change a player and uh, i think we have a limited uh, number to change the player yes in some games um, that is true and probably at the soccer at the professional soccer level i think it's true that um, only a certain amount of substitutes um, can come in and go out. Is that right? Yes, three only. You can have as much as you want, but you can change uh, in every game three. Oh, okay. So that's you can. So we can say um, you can only have three substitutions. Yeah. Okay. But uh, teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what about the player who got a, car, a red card? Uh, so we, we can uh, make uh, a player instead of him? I think if, if somebody gets kicked out of the game because they got a red card, I think your team has to play with only 10 players. Is that right? Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. We, 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 we can take another one from the sub. No subs. Nope. No, no subs. Uh -huh. That's yeah. a penalty. That's a penalty. That's a that's a bad penalty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, your your team your team members will probably be mad at you <laughs> for that. <laughs> right. Okay, so here in the next paragraph we have uh, at practice they learn new skills and practice their ball handling, trapping, passing and heading skills. So what are skills? What do I mean when I say uh, Skills, talent, proficiency, the ability to. Uh -huh. um, yeah, all, all of those the, are right. Your abilities. Abilities, your abilities. proficiency. Yeah. Uh huh. 
That's right. Okay. So it's what you can do. So in soccer, there are a few things that you have to be able to do very well. Uh, and those, one of them is called ball handling. Probably know what that means. <laughs> How you handle the ball, which means uh, kicking the ball, dribbling the ball, that type of thing. Trapping. What do I mean when I say uh, trapping the ball? Marley, do you know how to trap the ball? No. No? Uh, Fabricio or, or somebody else, does anybody know what when, trap the ball means? Fabricio, what does it mean to trap the ball? When when the goalie catch, catches the ball. No, it's just keep it for yourself. Don't let others to take it. Or yeah, or take, take it from somebody else. I don't know. Uh, no, trapping the ball means um, if you if you're with your foot, the ball comes to you and you trap it. You mean you stop it? Uh huh. Stop the ball with uh. your foot. Yeah. So and you're not letting anybody else get it. So a lot of times yeah. you trap it. You might trap it and then um, go to run with it, pass it, dribble it. So dribbling means um, running with the ball. And then um, Maria, you said. Um, what did you say? I said take take the ball from somebody from yeah. the other team. Or so. Yeah, that would be uh, stealing the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that stealing. We would say that. Yeah, stealing. <laughs> That's the word that we use <gasps> to steal the ball or take the ball or get the ball. But yeah. not outside the field. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just during the game, tackling. Leon in the uh, chat says asks about tackling. Uh, so, uh, tackling in soccer is when you slide tackle. Uh, so what's a tackle? Yeah, tack. So slide. There's two different things here. In soccer, slide tackling is when you're running and somebody else has the ball, and then you try to get like maybe they're too far ahead of you and you're going to um, fall to the ground and slide your foot in and try to kick the ball away from the person who is running with it uh, without tripping them <laughs> because if you wow. if you hit their leg or you trip them you might get a penalty so it's something that you have to have a good skill of doing and that is called a slide tackling in American football if you're going to tackle somebody that means you jump on them and you throw them down to the ground that's tackling <laughs> but you can't do that in soccer so <laughs> if you if you if you do that in soccer you'll probably get a red card and you'll get kicked out of the game. <laughs> so that's what tackling is. So it's not the same. And passing, everybody know what passing means? Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, Mustafa, you know what passing is? Yes, I know. Okay. That's yeah, probably the ball to another. Yes. Oh. To pass is to give the ball to another teammate. Um, a lot of times when you're trying to pass the ball, that might be the time that uh, the other team gets it away from you. So you have to practice your passing skills so that you're passing quickly and to uh, the player in a way that it goes right to them and, and it doesn't go somewhere else because that's a dangerous time for the other team to try to get the ball. Okay. And what does the word scrimmage mean? What do you think the word scrimmage is? It's when you clash with someone and try to take the ball. No? Checking between the teams? Yes. So in, I wrote it here. Um, they don't particularly like to... Um, play? I had to, uh, yeah, they don't... Uh, yeah, it means to play a game. So, like, the kids... Uh, when the kids are playing... Game. Yeah, it's a practice it's game. Like to fight exactly. for the ball. It's called no scrimmage is a practice game. So when you're having practice, sometimes you're working on your skills, but a lot of times the kids they find that a little bit boring. They just want to play. They just want to play the game. So when you're scrimmaging, it's just a practice game. It's not really the game that's part of the the season. It's just a practice. And so sometimes they'll put on different colored shirts. So when you go to practice, um there's these thing called uh, soccer pennies. I'll show you what they are. And you know, one one group of kids will uh, get these pennies and they'll put them on. They can be different colors, like red, green, or blue. And um, 
they'll one a group of the kids will put that on and then the other kids will just keep their shirts on and so then that way you know who's on what team because you're not really wearing your jerseys right then so it's just practice it's a practice game and the kids really like to to do that and um, so that's what that means scrimmage is a practice game and pennies is just the different shirts that they use to tell who is on uh, what team okay what about penalty kicks corner kicks what are those things? What's a penalty kick? Where am I shooting if I have a penalty kick? I think there is a small area near to the goal. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one kind of penalty kick, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, depending on the different uh, uh, penalty, the type of penalty that you got, you might get to do it where when you see like one person is kicking against just the goalie, that's a that's a certain type of penalty kick and sometimes um, you have to do a penalty kick anywhere on the field but uh, no, you have uh, to I think the, I think the penalty kick which uh, which you do it uh, in that area yeah very near to the goal but the other kick it's called the free kick free kicks okay free kick yeah. yes and corner kicks where where are those in the corners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's corner kicks, but they're close to the goal, the one that you're trying to make a goal, right? So all, co all, all corners, it's close to the goal. Right. It's and four so, corners. Four, yes, exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> you take a, if you're the team taking the corner kick, you're kicking it because it's close to the goal that you want to score on. So a lot of times, um, it, there's a special way that they try to set up the team so that if the person kicking the corner can get it right in the middle, then somebody can just head it in or something like that or kick it right in. Mm -hmm. Okay, some other words here because we've we got to keep going faster if we're going to get to football. Conditioning. What does it mean, conditioning? Conditioning. They, have, they, always, they also have to do a lot of conditioning so that they are in get shape. Like getting warm before uh, the game starts. The warm out or the yeah. Mm, not not warming mm. up. Warming up they is have to be ready. Yes, they, they have, have to be, be ready to play so much time. They have to be time. in shape, which means really? they have to be fit. So if you have to be do conditioning, that means they have to do a lot of running. Maybe they do some push-ups. Yeah. They do stretching. This is warming up, right? Um, processes. Yeah, it's more like training, but it's very specific to your body being able to last the whole game, so that you don't get tired. You do conditioning so that you're in shape, so that you don't get tired when you're playing the game. If you're not in good shape, then you won't be able to play soccer very well because you'll get tired. Your legs will hurt. So the type of conditioning that they do for soccer involves a lot of running so sometimes it's just running around the track and doing different drills okay I think we got through all the rest of these the forward the striker the mid defender keeper the goalie and position who are the coaches what do the coaches do trainer yes trainers they help you learn how to play the game they tell you what to do Yes. They make an a strategy. They they make the strategies. That's right. Okay. Yes. And so then we have some other ones. Offsides. That's that's uh, one of the things that happens if you're running down the. Well, let's see if Yosef want to explain offsides to us, Yosef. Yeah. Um. Offside when when uh, one of your team pass a uh, ball uh ball to you while. Uh -huh. While what? How to say that? <laughs> uh, you are. Um, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> you, you're on the uh, the defenders of the other team are in in front no. of you. Oh, yeah, all yeah. of the other team player are yeah. uh, in front of you. So that is uh, offsides. Yeah. Offside. Right. And then in soccer, if you uh, break the rules, you could get a yellow card or a red card. And who's the person who gives the yellow card or the red card? Referee. The referee, right. The referee. And sometimes um, the fans don't like the referees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they, can, they might yell at them. 
<laughs> okay. And then in the last paragraph, we just have a few of lingo. Does everybody know what the word means? Lingo? If I say soccer lingo, it's like um, making uh, full of others. No. Uh, no, it's um, talking to a team with uh, like something the other team will not understand. Special yeah. teams. Yeah, it's not so much science; it's just words. So you could you could you can use the word lingo for a lot of different things. Like um, you could say. Uh, uh, surfing lingo, so that would be the, the the type of words that surfers use. You could say football lingo. You could say dance lingo. It's just that lingo means uh, words, the words, the terms, the terminology that you use for a s specific thing. Specific language, you can yeah, say. like a specific language that you speak related to something that's. Um, yeah, kind of like the slang words that people use just for that uh, that type oh. of thing, like that sport or that activity or that group of people, you know. Is so it we, from linguistic? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, that would make sense. <laughs> yeah. So here's just a couple of things that you hear. Send it. So on the sidelines, if somebody's run, one of the players is running, uh, with the ball, one of their teammates or even the fans might say, send it, send it, which means they want them to kick it. And you could actually say both things. You could either say kick it down the field or kick it up the field. It's going the same direction. <laughs> and so it's kind of funny in English. You, up and down are the opposite usually, but you can look at it different ways. So up the field means to kick it up to somebody who's going towards the goal where you want to make a score or down the field is the same thing. Send it down the field. And then drop, that means if, you're, if somebody is um, running with the ball but, the, but maybe some, the other team's coming close to getting it away from them, so if I'm behind them, I'll say drop. And then that means kick it back to me because I'm open. I don't have anybody on me. Okay? And one touch and then passing. All right, so we did that. That's soccer. Took a little while. All right, now let's go to American football, which I, I have a question. It's mm. not very uh, popular. <laughs> yeah, uh, American football, they play it with hands, right? Why they call it football? <laughs> Why yes. they call it football? So it's, it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know the history of why English uh, in English it's soccer or football. The football is is um is actually the the actual ball that you use is called the football that brown oval ball that they use yeah but I don't know why how it got to be the football and the soccer I'm sure if you google it you'll find the history of it but um I just took this from Wikipedia here it's a little bit of information about American football and um, for the most part I think it's only played in America I think in Europe they might have a league that plays some football but it's pretty popular in the United States, and yes, somebody said, um, in American football, you play with your hands. Soccer, you play with your feet. You can't, you can't touch the ball in soccer, otherwise you get a pen penalty. So um, yes, all over the world, soccer is the main uh, sport I think that guys play, and they learn how to play it at an early age. But in the United States, there are some people who play football. They learn um, kids in elementary school, like around sixth grade, so that's usually at age 11 or so, uh, play um, football. But even even younger than that, they they play too. <laughs> yeah, but in, in, in American football, you you wear a lot of things in your head and uh, yes, you wear a helmet and, and pads. Yeah. Yes. It's still dangerous though. You still kids. Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah, it's still pretty dangerous. You can still uh, get, you know, break your something <laughs> or hurt your hurt your head or yeah, so I you got to be careful. Uh, I think in Australia there uh, is a similar uh, game uh, Called rugby, or rugby. Yeah, rugby is even more dangerous, I think, because they don't play with pads and helmets. Yeah. Yeah. They just um, play kind of like soccer, but they're throwing the ball and they tackle too, I think, in rugby. Rugby's kind of a 
we call that aggressive <laughs> sport. Yeah. But some people think American football is pretty aggressive too, and it can be. A lot of people who play soccer, uh, usually the players are very um, lean. And in football, American football, they're very large. A lot of the players can be very heavy and very be very strong. So it's a, di yeah. a different type of body, usually. Okay, let's see. Does somebody, Akela, you want to read? Akela? Yeah, sure. Akela. Okay, good. <laughs> read the first paragraph about the American football. Okay. Uh, football, American football, known as football in the United States, and sometimes called uh, grid, uh, grid, grid, grid iron. Grid iron. Yes. In, uh, internationally, is a team sport played between two teams of eleven players, each uh, with an uh, with an oval shaped uh, ball. The football. Uh, it is played on. Uh, uh, I can't read this word. <laughs> rectangular. Rectangular field uh -huh. measuring uh, 120 yards, uh, 109.7 meters long and 53.3 uh, yards, 48.7 meters wide with goal posts on either end of the field. Okay, good. So it's a big rectangular field that's 120 yards long. Okay, I'm going to break this up into a smaller one. Okay, and, um, Andre, you want to read that one? Over the course? Yes, over the course of the game, the team in position, possession of the ball, the offense attempts to advance down the field by running with or passing the ball in order to continue the drive down the field the offense must advance the ball at least 10 yards down the field in a series of four downs if they su succeed they receive a new set of downs to continue their drive but if they fail, fail they turn the ball over to the opposition op Opposing? Oppos opposing team. Yes. Good. Okay, so um, let me just go over this really quickly because we're going to be running out of time here. Possession means you have the ball. If you have the ball, you are the offense. When you're the offense, there's a couple of things you can do. You make plays, so you do a plays, and you have downs. So you might run with the ball or you might pass the ball. And the quarterback is the one who gets the ball and they pass it off either to somebody who's going to run with it or he's going to throw it long distance to try to get it down the field. When you're trying to get the ball down the field to the touch so you can make a touchdown, that's called driving the ball. You're driving the ball down the field or you're advancing the ball. Every 10 yards is a new uh, a new down, and you get four chances. Those are called downs, four downs to try to keep getting it down there. And every time you get 10 yards, you get to try again. But if the ball gets loose or something happens with the ball that the other team gets it, then that's called the turnover. The ball goes over to the other team, the opposing team, and now their offense and your defense now. So it keeps going back and forth trying to get to the uh, end zone right here which is how you make a touchdown. So I don't think we're gonna have time to finish reading this so let me just tell you a little bit so that you have some words here and then you can read it on your own if you want to. So the end zone here is where you uh, make a touchdown and you can make the uh, touchdown by either by running with the ball into the end zone or by kicking, um, sorry, not kicking it, by passing the ball to somebody in the end zone. After you make a touchdown, then you, that's get, you get six points, and then you get the goal kick. So it's uh, the goal kick, and if you make it between the two goal posts, 
then you get seven points for that uh, touchdown and for the goal kick. And in the United States, there's two different uh, professional leagues, the NFC and the AFC, and also there's a, a collegiate league, which so all colleges, universities, they have football teams. And the biggest game of the year is known as the Super Bowl. And this year, the Super Bowl is going to be in New Orleans. And we don't yet know who is going to be playing in the Super Bowl. It's going to be two of these teams, the 49ers, the Falcons, the Ravens, and the Patriots. So it's going to be one of these teams playing against one of these teams. And if you want to uh, learn more, you can check out this link here, and you can search Super Bowl. But it's going to be on February 3rd. It's a pretty big deal for a lot of Americans. A lot of people spend their weekends watching football games, especially guys, of course. So, um, But soccer is not as popular in the United States, but it is getting more and more popular. So that's all. for well, we, we got to do uh, soccer and football. We'll have to do tennis another time. So thank you guys for joining. I'm going to do the writing class next. If you want to stick around, go to the class, the live class, and then you'll be able to see the join class button once I start it. It'll take me about a minute or two to get it going. Okay? Thanks, you guys. I hope you learned something new and it was helpful for you in practicing your English. Thank you very much. Good, good luck. Okay, Thank thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye.